lecture i am going to discuss what all possible ways to initialize array in csor.net so let's see the initialization so writing here is strings so a string data types so this place you can use int double or any data types so a string array types and giving the name str1 thereafter new keyword and here is strings and uh, this place you should give you uh, the size of the uh, strings array so let's give here four now after that the next is so we need to close by the semicolon and uh, about this one so this uh, create array with the length so this create array a string array with the length okay now thereafter the next is so we can also do the initialization of the string array so let's use here str2 and this place we don't need to give the uh, size okay so let's use the curly bracket and this place you can give uh, any so since uh, this is uh, a string here so let's give here a strings double quote and uh, giving double then after x then after let's uh, do separate by the comma x y and uh, there double quote z and uh, double quote a okay so this is the another strings that created and here this is the size 4 at this place since uh, four, uh, 5 elements are there so this uh, create the array uh, strings with the length 5 so another way to initialize now let's uh, do the let's uh, see another way to do the initialization of array so giving the name str3 and then after new a string so this time we don't need to give here new keyword simple right here uh, or this uh, bracket open and close bracket and this place inside you can give anything so since this is a uh, uh, strings so let's give here this times integer int okay and uh, or this place so uh, giving uh, 1 6 8 9 separate with the comma 6 so this array that created so since this is there is no any size so total elements is now 5 so here or uh, the array will create with the size uh, 5 now let's add one more so this is now size 6 now so this is the third way to initialize the or create the array now let's see another way so this time going to write here double data types and uh, array then give the name so dub4 you can give any meaningful name after that the next is let's uh, use your new keyword use the uh, uh, rectangle bracket after that this place you can give here so you can give uh, this one let's copy and paste there v and since this is the uh, double data types so we need to give here point value 1 1.9 6.6 .6, 8.5 9.4 6.3 and 0. 0.0 okay so now there is no any problem with this so or double array and since this is the here integer so let's give here meaningful name int3 now i'm going to check the length of the array that i created so let's use your console class dot right line method so first uh, printing str1 the next uh, console class dot right line method str2 now console class 
dot uh, right line method so this time I'm going to print here int or 3 now let's write one more console dot right line the 4 so this uh, uh, four possible ways we can uh, create or initialize the array in csr.net so now let's uh, run this code and uh, you can check the output or length of the array so since uh, what exactly happens so this is printing system dot string this is uh, returning the data types so we need to get here length so for this one let's uh, call the length method dot length length dot length now this will return the length of the array so here you can see the first array that created with the size 4 and the next is total elements that count total is now 5 so array size created with the size 5 and int array created with the size so total element here 6 so 6 and this also here the 6 so 6 it's a display so i think uh, uh, this is a poor useful way to create the array or initialize the array in csop.net so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you